Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of... Well, actually, this isn't going to be another one. This is going to be our first episode of Let's Play some Super Mario Sunshine. Mario Sunshine. Look Hello. at all that sunshine. Hello, everybody. This is uh, Devin. You probably all know him by now. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Shake hands with the microphone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, that's going to bump it majorly. <laughs> Holy crap, you see that? I can't believe you actually shook hands <laughs> with the microphone. Hey, you got to keep the... Uh... Keep our guests happy. So. <laughs> yeah, because you know, he, having like headphones on and hearing, <laughs> it's really <laughs> yeah. It's gonna cheer him up. Yeah. Anyways. All right. So what are we doing? Here? Uh, press A. Okay. okay. So you have to go investigate what happened and he's blocking the plane. Old toad. Old sage toad. Old yeah, sage toad. Well, okay. It sounded like uh, Mario sixty four. Except much better graphics. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you'll get a little. Tool to help you. Yeah. Just familiarizing myself with the controls here. You can. Yeah. Camera's actually really good in this game. You, uh, actually, like Alright, so what am I doing? I'm trying to find out oh, what's yeah, causing all this. I, uh, you gotta head over there. I'm just gonna say that now. Head over this way? Jump in the water to get rid of all that paint. What does the paint do? Just kind of slows you down and makes you move around slowly. Yeah, pick up that item. That's the tool I was talking about. It's right behind that guy. What we got here? Halo. <laughs> I'm not joking. Return to register customer information. Scan the scanning as a prize and find his subject to data. Crotch shot. See it. Flood? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, okay so it's going like a thousand years in the future. It's going to give you a little uh, tutorial on how to use it. So this is like the gimmick of this game is like shooting this water beam. Yeah. But it's got a little bit extra added on too. Okay. So yeah, this is Devin playing. He has never played this game. <laughs> He's awesome. He's played a Mario game to begin with. Mario Galaxy is the last one I've ever played. I haven't even played the Galaxies. Oh no? Not bad actually. The concept just kind of. I find. A piece of hair on the remote. But More dog hair? Um, no. Even though I didn't listen to a word you said, I'll say no. What? <laughs> I was telling you about the controls. Try washing off the M to test it out. Okay, press R to shoot water. And I think if you press Y, you can zoom in. Oh, that button. Yeah, there you go. So, basically, yeah, you have to wash off the entire end, though. What are you... Freaking inverted controls. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> All Mario games play the same way. You can never get an inverted control with a Mario game. Freaking Mario. I press X. I'm gonna fly. It's better if you jump first, though. You get more height. You only have a certain amount of water. Yeah, but you can jump in the water and refill it. Replenishes it. Yeah, you just gotta shoot the water while in the water. While in the water. There you go, it's fall. Okay. Tutorial done? Yeah, that's enough explanation. Also, if you day. jump while walking three times, Go do a higher ground. Kind of like uh, uh, Mario 64. Now you're going to want to wash that middle stuff away. Yeah. Oh, you you want to wait for it to open its mouth and shoot it in the mouth. Like now. <laughs> I think this one always has its mouth open, actually. Oh, uh, okay. 
Just because it's the first level one. Jerk. Yeah. Love so, after the next bit of story, you should understand a bit more, at least if you listen to the thing. But your goal is to collect those. There are 120 of those in total. Okay, so this is these are this game's version of the stars. I yes, but they're called Shine Sprites in this one. Shine Sprites, okay. <laughs> We're having difficulties here. <laughs> Just go under the shadow and go. You can't tell where it is in 3D space, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Shine! Number one of 120. There's actually, the actually a song I like called Shine. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Who does it? Um, Celtic Legacy. Okay. <laughs> he creates the flood in the near future. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Master Chief. These freaking skirt wearing dudes. They're hula dancers. Hula dancers, huh? Jail for yep. some reason. You're in but jail. Was I not supposed to get rid of that fire demon thing? Fire demon thing. It was. it was paint. It was oh, it was paint. Oh, what is that? They think you did this. Thanks, Judge Green Judy. <laughs> yeah. Appeal. Appeal. Some people have another name for this game. Mm -hmm. It's called Tropical Janitor, Janitor Simulator. Mm. So, I guess you're going to be using this uh, that flood dude for... Tropical Janitor Simulator. Okay. Sounds exciting. Yeah, you like simulators, right? Yeah. <laughs> Have you, simulators. have you ever played The Sims? My girlfriend plays that quite a bit. I don't really play it too much. I've never played it either. No. I just think that there's some things that are funny in it where you like you can just kill off people you don't like anymore. Yeah. She's done some pretty weird stuff in that game. Like? I'm not gonna elaborate too much on that. Uh. Okay. <laughs> I'm guessing it involves a guy and a girl. Yeah, and maybe more. <laughs> a horse? I don't even know if you can do that in that game, can you? I don't know, I've never played it. <laughs> You're the one who says she's done things. Uh, strange things. I like how his eyes are just screws. Where are you going to find a screwdriver that big? No, are they? Uh, is that supposed to be his nose on the other side too? That's, like... that's the nozzle, yeah. Okay. It's his mouth. Which is, it's kind of a huge design... No. It's kind of a huge design flaw because it's got this giant spike on its back, which is right against your head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be uncomfortable, eh? Especially if you fell on it. Yeah, that would hurt a little bit, I think. So he's supposed to be... These are guys are the police officers of the town, eh? Yeah. Delfino Plaza. This is going to be an overworld. Okay. So you're going to be coming back here to progress further every time. So this is like my hub? Yes. Your hub world. You have to go to where it just showed on the map. I have no idea where that is. It's. I'll, I'll just say it's that way. Yeah. Deb's alert. DP. Deb's alert. Is that what it said? Well, it had dots, so it was obviously a thing. Yeah, so you know what to do here. And of course, you look for the sore spot. Yeah, so now you have to kill this guy. And he's gonna do the mouth thing. 
But he closes his mouth now. Oh, I guess I actually have to move. Sometimes. That sucks. Or you can just not suck. <laughs> yeah, I'm still getting the hang of it. <laughs> but yeah, this game gets intense at parts. Yeah. So intense. You can see that. Camera moves a lot faster than I'm used to. You have to get used to that. Yeah, but there are some levels that will make you wonder, like, how the hell do you beat this? Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll just hand the control over to you on those levels. <laughs> Evil Mario. Now, I don't think it's really his name, but everyone calls him Shadow Mario. Oh, yeah? But I think it's supposed to be a play-on from Zelda Ocarina of Time where there's Shadow Link and he's kind of the same color scheme. Okay. Now you have and to... Of course, he's the princess. Of course, he's going to hide her in about seven different castles. Of course. Stop the criminal on his tracks with some water. Where, is Where are you going? I don't know where the criminal went. Where'd he go? Maybe I should do this part then. Because you have to chase him a few times. Where did he go? That way. This way? Yeah, but more. You have to go around the... Yeah, he puts oh, those my. M's wherever he goes. Oh. You have to shoot him with water. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> I can already tell this is gonna be fun. Yeah. Your game can control it. Missed. <laughs> Do you, uh. Um, up the wall, please. Yeah. Oh. I, have to, I have to get the hang. Yeah, I know, but it's not very good for this chase scene because these are actually kind of difficult sometimes. This yeah. one's probably the easiest one you'll ever do, but. You haven't even hit him once yet. I'll get him. Let alone like the ten times it takes. Oh, once. Nice time. Twice. Uh. He's shooting like at the ground, it looks like. Well, you got up first try. What was that? You bounce off of tent things like that. Okay, shut up, Peach. We hear you. Okay. He hurt you. Jerk. Why are you jumping, Spray? Goes further. You know he's gonna stop now. You know his path. Idiot. Coins heal you, by the way. Oh, dear. Okay, so. <laughs> This is what our this is what our viewers love. You uh, chasing after a damsel yes. in distress. He's clearly yeah, like how many times do you have to freaking hit this guy. Ten or so. He went the other way, by the way. Other way. Yeah. So um, basically, what's happening here is he's pretty much like, where do I go from here? I got her, but I don't know where to go. Yeah. Keeps looping around in a circle. <laughs> he only changed it up on you, too, because you got ahead of him. Oh, really? Yeah, he'll go the opposite way that you're coming from. He's a dick like that. Why is this stream only, like, three feet in front of you? Because when you're running and you shoot it, it goes down. Because your face, Ooh. you're kind of running, right? Like, it's kind of hard to shoot and run at the same time compared to just running. Yeah, it actually uses somewhat kind of realistic sounding graph like uh, techniques. Press R lightning. Oh. oh, I thought you were doing that. Nope. I'll do it. Okay, I'll press it lightly. Yeah, but we'll press it lightly still. See? And you can continue spraying it. There you go. Jerk. Yeah. You shouldn't be allowed to use tools like that. <laughs> That's a genie. Okay. Alright. Now, I'm just going to show you a few tricks for this game first. Alright. Okay. So, if I can remember, you can spin and shoot all over the place. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, as, as it said, you can shoot while running. And then, of course, there's this one. Yeah. So when you're running like that, can you change the trajectory of the... 
Um, no. Unless you do this, you know. You can't shoot higher, though. Okay. And then there's also, like, um, if you spray in front of you and then do this, you kind of slide like a slip and slide. Wait, I, what did you do with the, uh... Oh, you just push forward and beat. Oh, okay. And you do a dive. But, yeah, you just... And then if you push back in A, back flips. Yeah. They're a lot more useful than normal jumps. And then, of course, your triple jump. Yeah. And dive if you want to get further. Anyways. That's okay, all I really right. wanted to show you. You have to go right behind you. He's on the statue. Or in front of it, I mean. Don't. And this is what you would call the first level. Oh, okay, so I have to jump through here. And you have to clean it first. There you go. Now it's open for you. Yay. Kind of looks like a puzzle piece rather than an M. To a wonky puzzle. <laughs> Those kind of like Mario 64 as well, in the way you got to jump into, into the, the pictures. Yeah. yeah. So road to the big windmill. I don't like the way that sounds. This is why I laughed earlier when you said uh, every time we beat a level. Yeah. Because each level has eight stages. Holy frick. So maybe every stage then. Yeah, we can switch it up every stage. Right. I'm assuming this is gonna be a fairly easy level. Are these guys bad? Should I kill them? No, they're they're on your side. That guy even gives you sunglasses, I think. Cool. Press, yeah, there we go. As long as there's water, you can do that. It's a lot quicker to travel. Um, go down here. Or you can just hover and get up there. Jump and then hover. There we go. Now you're going to want to do a backflip to get over this wall here. Uh, this wall here? Yeah, just do a backflip. Oh. Okay, backflip. How do you do that again? You just push. Well, for this one, you'll have to push up and A. Oh. There you go. And then you can jump off the wall if you time it right. Come on. Yeah. yeah. I'll get it. Whoops. Oh, wrong, wrong switch. like a secret area or something? No, this is the way you have to go, but there's a lot more of a convoluted path that you have to take. Uh, okay. So this is just a shortcut. You would normally have had to follow those all the way to like a water wheel and slide under it. Okay. So. Should I really be killing any of this stuff? or they just Not really, just keep on progressing, but you might want to get rid of some of this paint. This game is an OCD person's worst nightmare. Yeah. Because they'll want to get rid of every speck of paint. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? I don't know. You said to get rid of the paint, so I jumped into the nearest body of water I found. Oh, I meant the paint on the, w the ground. Oh, I thought you meant on me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to be using this freaking camera. You can. Uh, it's like I actually like buttons. this camera. It's decent, it's just. Controls backwards from what I'm It to. follows more towards wherever Mario is looking. Because your goal is to get up to that part of the bridge, but the paint is kind of sliding you around. Okay. But those balls are just making more paint. Or, as you know, some people call this it's shit. <laughs> Someone just took like a diarrhea dump all over this thing. So am I supposed to, like... You're not supposed to get rid of the paint, but you're supposed to get to the source of it. Which is shooting out these things that create more paint. That's the source right there. You fought two of these things already, come on. <laughs> yeah, right. Come on, just come on, my heads. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is... It's funny to watch. Can you change the control, like the? Maybe. I'm not sure. I check that. Oh, there you go. Finally got him up. Jeez. You know how to beat him. 
I think they add in another effect though now, like if you don't hit him quick enough, he will eventually go back into being in that stasis shape. Oh yeah. Which means you'll have to hit him again to wake him up. There you go. Oh, freaking time. It only takes three hits after he's out. Is that, uh... The paint actually makes ground disappear for some reason. That's interesting. Yeah, it is. Oh, there is... What are these things called again? Shine sprites. Shine sprites. Right, why do you wash it? Really? <laughs> I had really? to do that. I had to do that. Okay, yeah. so I guess it's my yeah, go. Yeah, give it a shot. Okay. Show me how it's done. Will do. I haven't actually played this game for like a couple of years, actually. Really? Yeah, I think the last game you might played was actually with you. You and Grant. Which one was that? Final Fantasy. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now for part two. Bianco Hills. Dawn of... Uh, was that Dawn or Down? Dawn. It, it will say it again. Down with, down with PD Perron. So now I actually have to climb the windmill. Alright. <laughs> But there are some parts in this game that, like, if I was just told to play it, I would probably die so hardcore. <laughs> oh, sure. I, I haven't played it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know the basic controls. Yeah. I'm sure it's not worth you levels in the game. Holy crap. And, uh, there's another way to get paint off you. If you got, like, too much on you, you just spin it and it all flies off you. Oh, yeah? Like, so it doesn't ever actually hurt you, eh? It just slows you down. Um, some paint it. does. There's also electrified paint. Oh, okay. But, like, here, let's try and get a lot of paint on me. Okay. Yeah, I'm painted up pretty good. Oh, oh, no, no, no. See, it just oh, flies yeah. off you. So it's a good technique if there's no water near you, because you do start slipping a bit more when there's a, a lot of paint on you. Yeah. Yeah, for a second level, this level actually requires a lot of platforming. Yeah. So it might be more difficult for a newer player. <laughs> and I don't just mean you in general, I mean like if a kid played this, he'd be like, oh yeah, the first level was pretty easy, then he gets to the second level and he's like, yeah. how? <laughs> Come on, water. Come on, there we go. Huh. So, there's all this crap everywhere. Right. A lot of flying in this one. And then there's this guy. How did you even get up here? <laughs> He's just up there dancing. Finding his own business. Blue coin. Blue coin. What is that? Where are those? Dude? Every ten of these you can trade in for a shine sprite. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, whoa, whoops. Hello. In order to get all 120, you need like all like a thousand coins or something. <laughs> no, I don't actually remember the number. It's like 30 per level. But is it like Nintendo 64 style where you only need like 80 coins to actually beat the game? 70-ish. 70, yeah. Well, it's more like um, at the end, around like stage 6 or 7 of each level, Yeah. you'll fight uh, Shadow Mario again oh, okay. in each level. And after you beat him in every level, that's when you can fight the final boss. Ah. I don't know how many you get, but I think it's around 70 by the time you have to fight them. Maybe yeah. 60. Okay. It's definitely a bit easier of a game than Super Mario 64 was. Yeah. But it does have a lot of challenging levels. This guy looks pretty angry. He's Petey Piranha. <laughs> we all fell into the windmill. It's kind of weird. Like, outside the windmill's going around, but there's no machinery in here for moving it. Yeah, I'm on my DS of those belts. Sort of. But he's facing the wrong way. Did he just sneeze? I think he did. <laughs> but he sneezes out too. Uh -huh. Stop facing the wrong way!
got it. Oh. You like that, Petey? Hey. Glitch. I, I glitched right through his gut. <laughs> you got a glitchy gut there, sir. He ate me, no. I tried. Haha! <laughs> trying to fake me out. Son of a bitch. Third time to charm? I faced through again. Beauty. Yeah, now he becomes mud. I think that's supposed to be like some kind of, um. Like a religious thing. Oh, yeah? After everyone dies, you all become dirt in the ground. <laughs> become one with the planet again. It's our third. I'm trying to do a backflip into it. <laughs> Fancy over here. Okay, uh, back to you. Alright. This should be fun. Third level. Save and continue. I guess we'll just play up to the Shadow Mario scene of each level. Sure. Of course, the funner levels are at the end. The harder ones. Uh, now that's a new level over there. If you want to unlock it, feel free. If you don't, we'll just keep playing Bianco until uh, Shadow Mario. I'll just, I'll just keep playing. These guys do anything? Nope. They were just like, hey, good job on rescuing the princess. That, that guy that looked like you just went into there. Okay, the hillside cave secret. You like the sounds of that, eh? So, your point is to try and get over there now. I do like, though, how all these levels are kind of connected to each other. Yeah. Like, um, if you go behind you and look off of here, you can see other levels from here. Like, over there is the uh, amusement park, oh, yeah. and on that side is the uh, Rico Harbor, I believe. Yeah. Right down there? Yeah. That's cool. So it is kind of cool, like, everything is on this one island, and you can see everything from here. Uh, interconnected. Yeah. You can't hurt him while he's underground. Alright. hurt me, clearly. Yeah. You have to shoot him from, like, here or something, and then they get stunned. And then you go hit him. How do you, uh... I saw you, like, did, like, a smash, like, down, like, after you jumped. How do you do that? That trigger. Which one? The one. Oh. Yeah. It's not really necessary, except for, like, most boss fights. Okay. Because all you have to do is jump on something's head, or even like if you jump in the air and then do a slide and you land on it, it'll usually kill it too. Oh, okay. Good to know. There are certain enemies that require tricks though, like the um, cactus guys, they require you to trick them into falling down and then you jump on them. Yeah. Yeah. They're like little elastic wires. I have no idea why you would ever need those inside of a place like this though. You have to shoot it. Shoot it with the water? Yeah. And it rotates the platform. Um, oh, you don't. Well, you can backflip, jump off the wall, if you have the skill. I do. <laughs> I don't even know where you're trying to go. I don't know. I thought it was over here somewhere. No, you have, you have to go back to where you fought that original. Should I spray these? Yeah, if you spray the M's, you get uh, blue coins. There you go. So yeah, Mario 64 is actually one of the best games I've ever played for the GameCube. Yeah. Most people would say... Mario 64 for the GameCube? They, they came up for the GameCube. Mario Sunshine, I'm sorry. Oh, he's in Mario 64. <laughs> yeah, I thought I said Mario Sunshine. <laughs> but um, most people would say, like, oh yeah, the N64 is the best system of all time. I, I think the GameCube actually had probably the most potential. Yeah, best system, I don't know if I'd say that, but it had some pretty good games on it. Well, yeah, N64 had some great games, but I think the GameCube just had so much more to offer. Yeah. Also, did you know the GameCube was is um, 3D TV compatible? The GameCube is? Yeah. Really? Way ahead of its time, for sure. They intended for it to be a 3D system, but... And they already implemented, like, all the 3D stuff into it. Yeah. 
but the problem was like they looked it up and they're like, oh, TVs, 3D TVs are like thousands and thousands of dollars. We thought they'd probably be down by the time the GameCube came out. Yeah. So they just kind of added in a regular AV port. That's kind of crazy though. Eh? Yeah, there was only one game that was actually intended for it to be 3D built, and that was uh, Luigi's Mansion. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah, it was really. Those are the guys I was talking about that you have to fake out. Uh, you have to kind of walk up to him, make him fall down, and then jump off. Gotcha. I remember them from uh, Super Mario. Yeah, they're, they're the guys in the desert. Yeah. And Yoshi can eat parts of them. Yeah. All right, I saw that so, cave. Somewhere. Yeah, it's over there. You can see it from here, that little ledge. Oh. Okay. It's telling you to go that way because it's like that's the easiest way to get up there. But you can always cheat and backflip, jump off the wall. At least that's how I usually do it. <laughs> but you need the little thing out, the jetpack. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because you saw how I got up that wall before, right? Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. See, I'm starting to get the hang of it. Oh. No, you can't go that way. Just so you know, you'll just slide off. You have to just jump up again. There you go. Uh, Bounce off of that, yeah. There we go. Okay. So the secret levels in this game are mostly like, um, you lose that for a while. Oh, can you just play normally for... Yeah, it's, it's kind of like going back to old school Mario 64. But it's all platforming. Alright. Whoa. It's my cell phone. I'll answer that after. Jeez, man. Cell phone's off during recording. <laughs> I should know better. I remember this song. Is this? I don't. I don't know which. Uh, first death. <laughs> I don't remember which game that one was from, though. Which one? That song. I know that the beginning. Like I know every Mario has the beginning of that, but this one in particular is from a specific game. Like this, like remix. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like you I'm know how like some before. games have like a set theme song, and then when you go underwater, you hear a different version of that theme song. Yeah. Yeah, kinda, that's kind of what this is. Okay. I think this might actually be the underground of one of the of one of the gate ones in three. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. I've never actually heard this song before. Are you serious? <laughs> you can tilt the camera up. For bird's yeah, eye view. Maybe I'll have to do that. Just saying. You know, it's the block that I thought I was jumping on moved underneath the other one. This way you got a lot more to do. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do. Okay, so you're you're jumping onto the sweet potatoes perfectly fine. This is where it gets tricky. You gotta follow the patterns, man. You can go into that one. Oh, that was a close one. Do this one nice and easy. Oh my <laughs> god! Are you a little too easy. This game's trolling me. All right, if I die one more time, you can do it. Well, how many lives do you have left? I don't know. Two. Zero. Zero. Okay. Don't screw this up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can do it. Get back <laughs> all the way there. <laughs> So maybe I'll just take it nice and slow. Use your jetpack. <laughs> nice and slow. You saw what happened last time you tried that. <laughs> just jump. I'm all nervous. I'm all nervous. Oh, you were hanging on by a foot. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm assuming that these things are gonna knock me off. Oh yeah, most definitely. Speed run it, man. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, Are you freaking kidding me? Too bad. Oh, or daboot. Game over. Do you ever notice that too bad backwards is daboot? I've never actually thought You just that. got daboot. Dabooted. 
I was wondering what you died for. <laughs> so am I or Yeah, yeah, if I die then yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, there we go. Let's see what the uh old GF one. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about my like, gameplay, I'm like, old GF what? <laughs> <laughs> what is he talking about? Are you on drugs? <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Except for alcohol, because that is legal. <laughs> yeah, she gave me a message. I'll call it back later. Yeah, I don't even know if you're gonna drink that alcohol I gave you. I probably will. I gave you, like, just stuff that you can put in cooking, basically. Yeah. I'll probably give this thing. Because, you know, if, if you, if you want to drink it, like, that's what it was intended for, but yeah. in case you didn't like that kind of alcohol, I gave you one specifically good for cooking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not uh, not the greatest cook in the world, so probably just have to drink. I think that was a little bit under of a jump. Oh no, made it. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Headbutt. Yeah, but these secret levels are what gets people killed in these games. Yeah. Does it explain who this? Uh, Mario dude is? Yep. Shadow Mario? It does, eh? Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're so lucky. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit the nail. Yeah. Don't worry, I got this. My skills are not that bad. <laughs> as soon as I said it. <laughs> Perfect timing. I like it. <laughs> My skills are rusty, but they're not that bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to speedrun it, too. Yeah. Taking it a little slower this time, I see. <laughs> I keep hitting the nail! <laughs> With my head! Not as easy as it looks, eh? Oh, well, maybe if I didn't keep hitting the stupid nail. <laughs> I got further than you on my first attempt. I'm, I still got the farthest out of all of us. No, you didn't. I died right where you did. Were, yeah, but I jumped farther than you did. No, you didn't. You didn't even make it on. I hit it with my head. Oh, please. Now he jumps. Hello. There we go. I know. <laughs> Shine. I love how good he is at games. <laughs> That's why I never play games against him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It keeps on showing like that kind of stuff every time you come back out here. Yeah, until you actually go into it. Yeah, but regardless, by the time you clear that one and go into it, the first level, something else will be unlockable. Oh, okay. It's one of those. <laughs> I'm gonna. No matter what you do. I'm gonna check on the time. We... All right. Because I don't remember much about when we started this. Yeah, we probably should have checked that out. But oh, we only got 38 minutes. Okay, we well, lost. Red coins and windmills. Oh, there's red coins in this game. Mm-hmm. How fancy. I think this is actually the game where the red coin thing started. Oh, yeah? Oh, no, that was uh, 64. Yeah, I was going to say, I think it was 64. Oh, yeah, the eight red coin. Okay, so... So, they're in the lake part. You know that much now. Okay. Well, at least you use the sliding thing. <laughs> oh, I made it that time. I think the door is open this time. Yep. Jeez. It wasn't open before. I think it'd be awesome to live in this place. <laughs> Never a dull moment, that's for sure. It's shooting well, I mean, even without these kind of things, like... Just the fact that you got all this nice clean water by you. You got, like, these breezy hills up here. Mm -hmm. Nice picturesque scenery. Gorgeous woman. <laughs> you have to save on a daily basis. Right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love those orange skinned girls. I love them, eh? Perfect body type. You know, like Nicki Minaj? <laughs> yeah. Well, this is. This wasn't covered before, was it? Hmm? Am I going the right way? 
don't know. I, I, probably not, actually. I know where they are. Look up. You have to use those tight ropes. Seriously? Yep. I told you the levels get hard. Alright, well... So I, get, I have to go all the way back there to get on it, then? Um, I guess. You could do... There's multiple ways to get on them. But, there, but you're after the eight red corn. Corn. Eight red corns. <laughs> eight red corns. Um, I think there's one right on those two in front of you. Yeah, I think there's one up there. If you get onto those platforms over, over there. Right there. Means you'll... You'll unlock um, another nozzle. They'll help you a lot. Just normal jump, man. Yeah, oh. that worked. Okay, fine. No, I'll do it. Okay. That's oh, fine. Oh, you go faster a little bit, don't you? Well, that's because you're not in the water anymore. <laughs> Because you went on such an angle, you yeah. lost time in the air. Situate myself. Face the wrong direction, camera. <laughs> Just do a backflip. I'm not good at backflips. <laughs> are, any of us, are any of us good at backflips? <laughs> Inside that crate is another nozzle for you. Yeah. Yeah, it will replace the jet one. Rocket nozzle. So I, I don't even have to do anything, it just automatically replaces it? Yeah. Oh, You cool. can use it now. Hello. It takes time to load it up. So I'm assuming I gotta do that. Can't use it in the water. <laughs> I see that. Um. So I'm assuming I gotta use that to get up to the thingies. Yes. That one right there. If you jump with it, it increases the distance. Jump now. So now I, I don't have that uh, hover one anymore? Not until the level's done. There you go. <laughs> I could have sworn there was a red coin there. We gotta get up there. Where are the eight red coins then? This is red coins of the windmill village. Those kind of look like weird looking windmills. Well, they are. But I mean, like, where are the red coins? Question. Could have sworn they were up here. That's a blue. Well, there's a big windmill on the other side there. Maybe you have to go in there. No. Maybe this guy? What are you, some kind of coin collector? Neat. Yeah, thanks for the help. You're so insightful. <laughs> no, like, seriously, where are the red coins? That was a blue, not a red. Secret. And are we in the wrong spot? Tell you where you gotta go. Well, I mean, like, I know there's supposed to be one up here. There's supposed to be one right here, right in the center. Huh. Could, could we be in the wrong area? It did say village. Maybe out here? I don't remember there being red coins out here, though. But it has been a long time since I've played it. Oh, oh, there's one. Seriously? I didn't know there were ones out here. Hmm. 
one out of eight. So maybe two out of eight. We're, we were in the wrong area. This is the rocket also again, but it gives you water, so. But yeah, I just don't. I, I don't remember this. Hmm. Oh, I missed it. Okay, so yeah, this is this is bullshit. <laughs> There's also a glitch you can do with this rocket nozzle that makes you blast off into an infinity. Really? I forgot how you do it, but I think it requires you to like land on something, like one of those uh wire things. Yeah. And then just blast it. Over and over again, and then get hit by something. You have to do something in that. Like those little uh um, collect some water. There's also a blue coin over here. Come on, swim faster! <laughs> I hate swimming in games. <laughs> so slow. Yeah, so slow. Like molasses. All right, where's the other one? Oh, there's a blue coin. Yeah, I know. That's what I was going for. <laughs> I remember where most of the blue coins are in this game because I have 100 percent in this game before. Oh yeah, okay. I got all 120. That's taking a while. Eh, maybe a day. <laughs> that was when I was really good at this game for yeah. playing it for like a year. <laughs> oh, there's <you> one. <laughs> Overshot it. There's a blue coin over there too. Oh, I forgot we don't have the hover nozzle. Okay, face the right way. There we go. Is that supposed to be a red coin there too, that electrified one? No. This guy is, or is that just like That's just a, like an electrical spiky ball of death. Alright. Oh wait, there's a couple over there, you see them? In the background? No. The red one in that little archway right there. Oh, I see it, yeah. And then there's another one like, on the building too, it looks like. I thought you were pointing much further than that. I'm, I'm like looking into the distance like, where's he looking? <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's the last one. That's it. I want to try out that glitch though. See if I can do it. Thanks for uh, to go with the wrong one. Sure you my <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. Well, you gave me the controller. Yeah, I did. Fair enough. The there it is. I'm just gonna call them shiners. Shiners. Shiner. Like a black eye. Yeah. Yeah, that's for the regular um, nozzle that you like. Well, I don't, I don't really think it's more that you like it, it's just the one you're used to. Yeah. It's more like it. Is that spin thing? That one right there? Yeah, that like. Right. That's wind. Just wind. Is Living way. wind. Oh. Well, you see, when a mama wind and a dada wind get together, <laughs> and they love each other very much. So you mark this uh, this video as explicit. Explicit? Getting into some shady detail. I haven't here. said anything explicit yet. <laughs> if anything, this is educational. Uh -huh. With as little talking as we possibly do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why, but we just aren't talking too much in this episode. D-E-B-S. I, I think it's that. supposed to be Delfino... Something broadcast system. Okay. PD Piranha strikes back. Uh -oh. oh, you gotta fight him this time. This isn't gonna be pretty. This time he's in a completely different area, though. Oh boy. I, I got up there last episode, so. Yeah. I was sleeping. Last episode. <laughs> last stage. We still only got one life. Well, Do two have, lives technically. They have three lives in this? Yeah. One. You can find one man just about anywhere. Yeah. Men's. What do you call them again? Free, free men. Free, free men. Whatever. They're Something free like men. Abraham Lincoln was here. <laughs> Not today, fishy. Sometimes I don't know where you're going. I don't know. Where I'm going. If I think if you push that all the way up with your water, you get a free life. A life up, free man. You have to, yeah. No? Just points. 
Okay, I was mistaken. Can't get under there. You can go over it. <laughs> the fuck was that? Text tone from my GF. It you had a different there? text tone the last time. Yeah, I changed it. You change it like every five seconds? It's been, no, it's been like that for like a month. I'm sure it was that the last time I was here. Okay, whatever you say. Whatever you say, Jose. Bullshit! <laughs> Sorry, what? Yeah, you're funny. Alright, I'm just gonna follow the trail of... It's up there. Crap, that's what... He's up there? Yeah, the other... Oh, uh, to the right. He's up on that cliff. That's the one thing I don't like about this, because I know where everything is, so as soon as I start telling it to you, I feel like so rude, because I'm trying to let you play. Okay. I'm just like, you're going the fucking wrong way! No, if you know where something is, um, just let me know. Up okay, there. So you see that platform? Yeah, I can't. Why can't you look up? Yeah, you can. Well, like that. Okay. So that platform? Yeah. I have to get up there? Yeah, you can go on top of the house if you want, but... Yeah. You can also just uh, backflip, push off the cliff, and then fly. Yeah, well, I'm not really good at that. You're also not going to get up on top of the house without that same maneuver. <laughs> what if I start on this house? Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> All right, let's turn there was a blue around. coin right behind me, too. That. Now you have to get up on top of these little houses that are on top of the little house. <laughs> Isn't that so weird? It's like a little house on top of a little house. Yeah. I think there's actually a wire right beside you. On that that one. Yeah. I can't see you. Where did we go? Uh, oh! <laughs> oh! Come on! Come on! I hate this freaking camera, I just gotta say. <laughs> I love this camera. Like, of course there's no option. There's probably one in like the start menu. Yeah. But I don't think there's gonna be anything for controls. You might want to spin and get all that mud off you. I spin it, what do you Jump, mean? just jump. When you start spinning, just jump, yeah. There you go. Now just walk right back into that mud. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Alright, where the hell was I going again? Up there. Up here. <laughs> okay, where's that little house that I jumped on at first? Other side of it. Over here. Well, not it wasn't that one, but okay. Oh, this one? Yeah. Got something. A coin, just a regular coin. Yeah, so at least you made it. Yeah. Almost didn't, but Oh there you go, now you're up. Now All you just right. gotta carefully get on that little wire. Where is this wire that you speak of? Right there. Oh I thought he fell off. I thought you did chuck it I was just waiting for you to panic. <laughs> Steady wins the race. So you ever notice how Luigi's hat, since he's Luigi, just like Oops. how Mario's hat has an M on it, Luigi's kind of like loser yeah. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> Which is bad because Luigi's the one who ultimate ultimately ends up with Peach. Really? Yeah. I know that. Peach is a little slow, isn't she? Oh, definitely. You know that she just wants Bowser. <laughs> yeah. But Mario keeps intervening. Yeah. So she's like, Ugh, I guess I have to settle for one of them. Alright. Oh, oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Seriously? Yeah, you might want to just switch to that. You're almost out of water. Mario, you were vexing me. Don't run out of water! Oh boy. You're almost out of water, man. Okay. I don't need any water where I'm Um. <laughs> okay, let's go with that for now. Really sure where I am. You're going up. I'm going up. 
Yeah, it's right behind you. I might want... Not that one. What, this one? Yeah, it's right behind you. <laughs> you spin and then get it all back on again. Back. There he is. No yeah, and, uh, now in order to get him, you have to get these little pigs to attach themselves to your nozzle and shoot them at him, like water balloons. So I guess I kind of do need switch, water. Then. Yeah, switch to the other one. There, there you go. Oh, they automatically attack? Yeah, now go through there and... Yeah. After you wake him up, you don't have to... W After you wake him up, you don't have to worry about saving water because he, come, he comes down to the village where there is water. Oh, yeah. Which, uh, you might want to start running now. Oh, yeah. Are you just going to chase me? Yep. Alright. Let's piggy Well, me. he's not really going to chase you. He's just going to kind of wreak havoc on the town below. Go under the water mill. Under? Yeah. Just stay here? Go, oh. no, just go under. And then go get water from, uh, wherever. Water, where are you? You know where the lake is. Go no that way. Just jump up, yeah. You know the water at the entrance? Yeah. Or you can actually get that and you'll get water. This thing here? Yeah. There you go. Oh man. Full water. Now you have to fight him. Alright, where are you? In the in the sky somewhere. You have to go grab another one of those pigs, but they're gonna be there's some down below now. And then you gotta shoot him out of the sky, and then do... Yeah, he's over there, I can see him. And then you gotta do the same method that uh, I did. You have to fill his mouth with water and then stomp on him. Okay, so... You're almost dead, though. Yeah. Probably need some, uh... Coins? Coins. Are there any, though, right now? I kill these guys. Do you need coins? They might kill you. The pigs are up there, by the way. So yeah, now you just gotta aim at him, and then bring the fucker down. He's right there. Oh, one health left. Is he gonna make it? This is a... Oh, no. <laughs> Didn't make it. Does that at least start me back, like, fighting him? I'm not sure. Nope. <laughs> right, let me give it one more shot. That's all you got. And you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> Jeez, man. How much, how much time do I have left? We probably have a few minutes. Yeah. I'll check real quick. I hate having the recorder all yeah, the way over here. Over there. Let's see. Oh, we got two minutes. Two minutes? Just enough for you to die once. <laughs> yeah. Might not even need that much time. Yeah. <laughs> Two minutes? I can do that in one! <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> I'll prove you wrong. <laughs> My teacher said I would never be good at anything. But I proved them wrong. I can die better than anyone. Yeah. Alright, where is this friggin' house? Is this it? Nope. That's it. How do you not know the arrangement or I don't figure it out. You know, like, this is one of those games that if I was just trying to get to Bowser, I could probably beat in two episodes. <laughs> probably. <laughs> I made it. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. You jump properly in Mario. <laughs> Dumbass. Seriously, though, GameCube does have some of the best games, in my opinion. I never own a GameCube, so I, uh... That's probably why you're not very good with the controller. Probably. Like, if you actually got this system when it first came out and had Mario Sunshine, you would probably be part of the few that were like, this game is the most amazing Mario game I've ever played. I really had to jump off the wall, Mario. To be honest, considering like, what happened with um, Ape Escape, I just don't think you're very good at platformers. I'm actually not bad at like the Mario games that I play, but... This one but but platformers, weird. like, um, well, you play the ones for NES. I play, yeah, and I played, uh... NES isn't really a 64 one, I played, um, uh, the Wii one, Galaxy. I don't think Galaxy would really count as a platformer either, since it's not really a lot of platforming, it's more like... 
I don't know what it would be. I guess technically people would classify it as a platformer. I would think so. I mean, it's pretty similar to this. It's just in space. And... But when it's in space like that, you got pretty much like everywhere you can walk. Because it goes around the planet, right? Yeah. Whereas this is like you have to climb yeah, up like different layers of... Yeah, I really... I don't know. Okay. But Mario 64 for sure would be a platformer. Yeah. Oh, you blew him up. What's that? Water. Oh. It was a water bottle. The best way to get rid of large piles like this is to do the spinny thing while you shoot water. Yeah. But you can't do that with that pig on your back. I'm just gonna shoot this guy for now. Let's see if I get him first shot. Oh, Ooh, yeah. and that's why I play shooters with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a little better at those. <laughs> yeah, you might want to just keep that guy on your backpack until you shoot him down. You always go to this side. I don't know why. I'll run under you. Oh, you just got squished. Okay, where is word? Squished! Word. What kind of word is squished? You were squashed. Squashed. You were butternut squashed. Whoa. He's barfing at you right is he now. Is he shooting that stuff at me? Yeah, he's throwing up. He's right behind the house, I think. That's why he hasn't shot anything at you. He can't see you. I'm over here. There you go. Now, yeah, he's right there. Get a bit closer, shoot him down. Alright. Then kick his arse. You know, I've tried flapping my arms as fast as he is, and I can't do what he's doing. So what, I just have to get over to him and then fill up his mouth. And then stomp his gut as soon as he falls over. Whoa. There you go. Oh. Two more times. Okay, so these pigs. It's a Mario enemy. You know he takes three hits. Three hits, yeah. Standard Mario procedure. Where are you, piggies? Unless it's Bowser, then it's either one or five hits. Yeah. And if it's one hit, it's going to be five times harder than the five hits. <laughs> Pretty much. Standard like when you had to throw him into the bombs. So long, gay Bowser! What one was that one? 64? 64. Yeah. It's actually saying so long, King Bowser, but it sounds like it's saying so long, gay Bowser. Yeah. Like, spin and shoot the water right now. You're not doing a high enough jump, but yeah. It gets rid of it all over. You're getting too close, so he's doing melee attacks. Might want to face him. He's going to open his mouth soon. Yeah. He's shooting at me. Plant. Okay, you're dead. You know that he's going to go up to the water, if you, up to the air again if you ignore him. Oh, he used Gust on you. I bet that's super effective. <laughs> wow, actually. All right, it's, <laughs> it's fun and everything, but yeah, open your mouth. Thank you. Oh, now when you... No, it's because you hit him and then you move to a spot that wasn't in his mouth, so he closed his mouth. Oh, okay. Just wait. There you go. You gotta get him stuck. One more to go. Get another piggy. Where's the little piggy? Where's the little piggy? Come here, little piggy. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Invader Zim? Um, no. It's actually quite an amusing show, but it's very random. Okay. There's a character in it named Gur. He's a little, like, robot dog thing. Yeah. And, uh, he had a little stuffed pig, I think it was. Yeah. And the, the pig gets killed by something. It's a stuffed pig, but it gets, like, destroyed. He's just like, I loaded you, piggy! I loved it, you! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think every time you fucking shoot one of those pigs at things. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I loved it, you, piggy. Uh, I loved it, you. <laughs> Why don't you just kill those things? 
every time I shoot them, they freaking come back. Well, they come out of the goop. Okay. Like, we get it. You can make a tornado. <laughs> it is a pretty impressive power, I must admit. Yeah, but... I think he does it, like, for every time you knock him down. Oh, I don't even know. Like, that, that was the third one. He's probably gonna open his mouth in a second. Right now, maybe? Yep. If you can hit him. <laughs> Sad to say that. <laughs> I had to. I had to. Did I make the two minutes? No. Nope. Really <laughs> Close enough. Oh, I guess I still I already have know to we're over. Continue. Yeah, you have to get the shine still. <gasps> Shiner. Where is it gonna go? Shiner, come back. It went all the way over there. What was the point of that? <laughs> Like, you couldn't just stay where you were? No, because it brings it to the spot that it's supposed to be at game-wise. Like, you're supposed to technically kill him over there, probably. Well, Anyways, excuse um, me. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Sup Mario Sunshine. I know Devin didn't. <sighs> so it wasn't that bad. It was a lot better than Avis Gabe. That's all I can say. So. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you all in the next one. See you later. Toodles!